learners welcome to this session in the first session of missing persons and human trafficking linkages we have discussed how you know it is important to relate or to link the data of the missing persons with human trafficking secondly we have also understood the data of ncrb and mha annual report on missing persons and try to understand that it is very important that immediately the missing person should be reported secondly if you are not able to contact your family members for more than a month then do not waste time and immediately report the case thirdly you fix a time after 2 days or 3 days everyone should try to contact his or her family members by technological interventions by using the social apps you can talk to your family members and know about their whereabouts now we will be discussing the second part which is very important because this gives you a data on human trafficking and missing persons and the initiative taken by different states in addressing the issue of missing person with technology when i say technology it can be an app secondly it can be face recognition tools and then with usa you know we have done an mou we will be talking about that also in this session mou with national center for missing and exploited children ncmec usa continued mha annual report 2018 so you know we were talking about the annual report 2018 19 of mha so this mou is mentioned there and it says the union cabinet has approved the proposal for signing of a memorandum of understanding between ncrb india and national center for missing and exploited children usa regarding receiving of tip line report on online child pornography and child sexual exploitation contents from ncmec a very good initiative by government of india because trafficking is global and in cases of child pornography and child sexual exploitation you have to be techno savvy to address pornography issues so we have an mou which will be very fruitful in cutting down child pornography at a global level crime and criminal tracking network and systems a very important project you know by government of india held in containing crime and criminality in a huge democracy like india lot of states are using this to identify and link the dead bodies and people with missing persons so cctns is a very good initiative taken by the government of india uttar pradesh has started the efir wherein a citizen can make eifir through citizen portal of following items in cases of auto theft or vehicle you can report robbery of a vehicle can be reported missing of minor children can be reported in efir mobile snatching cyber crime can also be reported so a very good initiative when you do efir you don't have to move physically to a police station you can sit and file an efir state crime records bureau in gujarat in consultation with tata consultancy services has developed the services on mobile application which are helpful for io means investigation officers in crime prevention and crime detection and also benefits the citizen by improving the quality of investigation and expediting the investigation process you need technology to expedite to have a focused approach retrieving information from registers was 
a very cumbersome and time consuming exercise but now this information is available to the investigation officers on his or her mobile on a click so very good technological intervention by the gujarat government considerable time is saved due to online search of missing persons accused search vehicle search and employee search so they have this portal where in with the help of tata consultancy services they have developed e guj cop so this is a very good initiative wherein you are using technology to help the investigating officer in getting the data at a mobile click and to relate that data and to find out the details in a crime andhra pradesh dg dashboard 25 types of reports are being generated through dg dashboard missing persons report is there police station can get the complete list of how many cases of missing persons have been reported how many cases have been traced the untraced cases and traced and untraced persons detail so now we see that they are using technology to address the issue of missing persons in all these states missing person report it is a tabular missing person report based on the police station missing ddr number missing ddr date victim details age of victims gender physical features missing place traced out date found ddr and date and you know best part is that the photograph of the missing person is also available in the database so if you see a person a dead body or any person on the street you can just open and see whether that person is the same person or a different person police officers and public person can see the detail of missing persons and present status so it talks about transparency and accountability in a system punjab has come up with monthly criminal intelligence gadget and you know this has been prepared in a digital format through this digital digital book we can monitor the information on the following aspects first is how many persons are missing how many people have been traced how many dead bodies unidentified dead bodies are there wanted person and stolen vehicle recovered vehicles interstate criminal gangs missing documents proclaimed offenders and absconder so all these 10 details are there on that then out of the 10 following six reports are getting generated through cctns data first is the missing persons data second is the traced persons data then unidentified dead bodies data stolen vehicle data recovered vehicles and proclaimed offenders a very good initiatives by all the states because you know this data can be accessed by any of the states and they can work collectively in addressing the issues of human trafficking and missing persons uttarakhand has a dashboard which has following modules daily crime digest road accident report e grievance accused wise crime search all cog list cases missing persons crime review enterprise search etc delhi police you know has upgraded the latest version of core application software cas workflow improvement so a very good initiative by the delhi police the gd has been made real time basis so gd when it comes to real time basis it saves your time energy it you know caters to all the man mal practices and then it is more transparent and a document which can be used because you know you cannot temper it so time stamp of central server is reflected in the gd entries this has done away with the manual gd register 
at the police stations. So it is very important that when you have a technology and you use the technology, so everything is, you know, online, everything on the real time basis. This has brought real transparency in the police station working and any possibility of manipulation in the date, time of GD entry has been removed completely. Since all the registration, FIR, NCR, missing persons, MLC, UIDBs, etc. is linked with the GD entries. Hence, all registrations and investigations are being done on the real time basis. A very good effort by the Delhi police. Automated facial recognition system. I would like to say that Telangana has done wonderful, you know, job in addressing the issue of missing person. Powerful tool was launched on 2nd August 2018. First of its kind criminal detection tool in the country. The FRS software has been linked to TSCOP mobile phone app allowing the investigating officer to run a suspect's photo taken during the investigation or photos of unknown bodies at crime scenes or snapshot of the missing children using FRS tool. The images will get compared with the crime and criminal tracking network and system database. Other police databases and result will appear in descending order based on the match percentage. So immediately by the technology, you know, you have a face record recognition system and you just send it. And if that matches with any of these data, then you can have a record. Similarly, mobile fingerprint scanner to check criminal antecedents of suspects and FRS tools would work as a face scanner in a similar way. Maharashtra has also a CAS data entry status, which is a crucial parameter determining success of CCTNS and similarly data quality is another equivalent important parameter. Maharashtra state is in continuous process of improving data entry and data quality at police station level. A very good intervention by the Maharashtra government because you know if you have a proper data entry and data quality at the police station level then you know you have a faith in the government in the you know justice system and you will be able to get all the records by this CCTNS. Evaluating units on the basis of data status including IAF forms, photo upload in missing and UIDB. Monthly data from units is collected regarding number of IAF form fills. Persons in UIDBs and missing uploaded an e-complaint resolution. So this is also very effective in addressing the issues of missing persons. Units ranking is done on the basis of data entered. Data quality check activity is conducted where police units are selected on sampling basis. So you know you also have a check, you are monitoring it by you know selecting the units on sampling basis. Sample data X regular offenders and Y crime record is selected and name based data quality check is done. So a very good initiative by Maharashtra. Increased success stories from units including preventive actions and crime analysis. There is 100% data entry in CAS. Photo uploading in case of missing persons have been increased. Person matching UIDBs and missing person has been done in lot of cases. You know, so we have seen all these state interventions and we have understood that they are using technology to address the issues of, you know, finding out that whether if you find an unidentified dead body, then 
then you just see the data of the missing person relate it with that unidentified dead body and if that matches then you can contact the family members and give them the dead body for burial purposes so it imposes faith in the government system it enforces faith in the entire system of criminal administration because you know by efir you have taken all the manipulations away from the system so when you efir then you know you don't have to visit a place physically you can just sit on your laptop on your ipad or on your mobile and file the complaint if you see all these state organizations then every state has a website so on that website you can also get all the details related to the crime in that state secondly you will get all the details as to what you can do to e file a case so in cases of theft in cases of uh, you know offenses against property or against person you have to just do an e f i r you can think about the benefits of e f i r in terms of a population which is illiterate in terms of a population which fears from going to the police station in terms of the population which does not have time to go to the police station to report the f i r so many times you must have seen that you know in petty offenses or in small small cases or even in cases of theft etc or you know the offenses relating to person we do not go to the police station thinking that you know it's okay we were at fault we left the house unattended so somebody came and then theft has taken place or you know somebody has stolen my phone it is okay or somebody has you know slapped me it is okay he belongs to my family so in these cases you have the benefit of sitting at home and doing efir even you know if anything happens even in in a case of accident you know you just sit in your car and dial the number 112 and the police pcr van will come to you they will register then they will send that case to the local thana and from that thana you will get the copy of your efir so the entire fir process have been simplified keeping in view the needs of the people but still people are not aware about the efir i have talked about you know the face recognition system so if we have something which can recognize me as who am i it can be my face it can be my thumb impression it can be my eyes iris you know so in biometrics what happens that they take your thumb impression your you know finger impression then your iris your eyeballs you can see the eyeballs and on this you know you have a light kind of a thing something that glows that is your iris so every person's iris is different so if my iris has been detected and has been kept for my identity then in cases of need the police officer and other people can easily locate who am i 
many a times you know when we move out from the home we do not carry our uh, voter id card our aadhar card or our wallets even for ladies it is, it is very common even if we carry the purses you know we don't carry these papers so in cases of need in cases of any accident or anything which happens wrong then if we are not able to speak up the paper will speak and suppose if you do not have that paper with you then who is going to tell you or who is going to tell others in cases of accident you know many a times when the person is taken to the hospital if that person does not have papers with that uh, with him then it is very difficult to locate that who that person is and we have seen very influential people going for morning walk and you know after uh, suffering from some offense or maybe a heart attack or something and then you know they collapse or they are taken to the hospitals on in the hospitals the people and the police the doctors and the police are a, not able to track the identity of that person so that person is kept in the hospital under medical treatment the family if the family does not reports missing case then the police officers also will not be able to know and after 3 or 4 days if the person does not survives then that person's body becomes unidentified person's body so you know it is very important that everybody should have a data i am saying this statement with a conviction not in favor of any government or against any government but you know if you have yourself registered if you have your data which can be taken away me my thumb impression is registered in aadhar so even if i do not carry my papers and something happens to me i am not able to speak still my thumb my you know my fingers will be able to be traced by the aadhar format and then people will be able to know who am i in case i am not able to speak then two things are very important i will request all the learners to take care whenever you move on the roads be cautious do not just you know take your mobile phones and talk to people and keep moving because you know lot of people who are traffickers or who are habitual criminals see you as a prospective client for them or a prospective earner for them so your body has a value you have so many organs in your body so even if i do not wear jewelry even if i do not wear gold and diamond still my body is precious for a trafficker even if i do not wear gold and jewelry still my body is precious in terms of you know labor so i can work for long hours for a trafficker and you know earn a good living for that trafficker thirdly in pornography in sex trade in offenses against you know a body the trafficker earns from my body so a trafficker can sell a person can purchase a person so it is very important that whenever you all move in public be careful you know i often talk about an advertisement which is uh, talk as you walk do not please talk as you walk in public spaces in spaces you know where you know you have uh, strangers coming and going you can do talk as you walk in your garden 
in your society park if that is safe and properly guarded society otherwise you have to be very cautious about some stranger movement around you so be alert be cautious and in terms of relating missing persons with human trafficking if anybody is found missing in your family in your society then do report about that case and don't think about your reputation for a, for a few minutes do not think about your ego or your society or your community for a few minutes because that human life has a value and has dignity and worth and you as a guardian you as a parent have responsibility to protect that human life i will request all the children listening to me that you know parents are the best people on earth they will scold you they will beat you they will you know uh, maybe sometimes also abuse you but they will not do anything which is against your well being so never think about running away from the home secondly i would also request the parents that give them space to grow and develop i am not a doctor my father was a doctor in my family there are so many doctors but when i came to this profession i was throughout topper and my mother used to think that maybe law is not the field for the girls at that point of time but my father always said that do whatever you want to do because if you have that choice of growing and you know doing whatever you want to do then you will develop and prosper so parents do not think that if you are a doctor your son or your daughter will become a doctor or you are a throughout topper then your daughter or son should be throughout toppers in their life it is that when you give them opportunity to grow and develop they will prosper they will you know bloom if you give them something which is as per their choices to do then they will develop and they will develop to their potential so as parents we have to give them time we have to give them space we have to take care of them we have to monitor them very important thing we have to monitor them because you know if we do not monitor them then in case of technological interventions and the technology world which are you know which is our day to day life we have a lot of vulnerability issues in terms of technology and the traffickers sitting throughout the globe are able to see you on your social platforms so do not post your personal details on the social platforms your children photographs because the child may become vulnerable if you post the videos the audios and the photographs of your child children so be safe if you find any case of missing person or missing child do report it to the police station you can also file efir all the states are doing commendable job in addressing the issues of missing person and relating them with the cases of human trafficking and unidentified bodies but we have to come forward in community policing and be a part of a social change stay safe stay healthy and have a good time thank you all for listening